Hello everyone. Before I start this video, I want to say Conquer Aging or Die Trying. I'm supporting this channel. That's the name of the channel, Conquer Aging or Die Try. Hosted by Michael Lustgarden, PhD. He has an amazing amount of videos on longevity, and I urge everyone to look at his channel. So now let's get into the video about intermittent can intermittent fasting really improve health span and lifespan? A new study says no. Intermittent fasting has been recommended as a more practical alternative to calorie restriction to promote weight loss, improve metabolic health, and modify key aging pathways in model organisms and humans. <clears throat> Mouse studies have shown that intermittent fasting can increase health span and lifespan, but does it work the same way in humans? That's the million dollar question. According to this new randomized control trial published in Aging Biology, intermittent fasting's claimed benefits of improving health span and lifespan may be inaccurate. In this new study, intermittent fasting did cause noticeable weight loss and body fat reduction, but it did nothing for inflammation and barely improved insulin sensitivity. The results show one may work in animal experiments cannot simply be applied to humans. That's the mistake a lot of people make. A day without food may strongly impact a mouse with its fast metabolism while having a weaker effect on a much larger human. The study lasted one year but with a six-month crossover interval. The participants were between 30 and 65 and had a high BMI of averaging um, 29.6, that's pretty high, and exceptionally high blood, body fat, averaging 42% in women and 31.6% in men. Luigi Fontana, a leading expert on longevity, who is currently the scientific director of the Charles Perkins Center at the University of Sydney, was skeptical of the alleged claims that a 5-2 intermittent fasting diet could improve metabolic health and extend longevity. So what did he do? He put it to the test. He took 50 overweight participants and randomly divided them into two groups. <clears throat> he and his team tested intermittent fasting for, eff for effects beyond weight loss. During the six-month trial, one group ate their standard Western diet for four or five days and fasted for two or three days on just vegetables alone. On the fasting days, calories were not counted and they ate only non-starch non -starch vegetables with two tablespoons of olive oil, some vinegar, or lemon. The second group acted as a control and continued with their usual diet. The researchers tested for critical markers of healthy aging, such as inflammation, insulin sensitivity, mTOR, and autophagy, autophagy activation. Let's talk about the results. What were the results? The results were as follows. Inflammation and insulin. We'll start with that. Inflammation and insulin sensitivity. Intermittent fasting did not reduce C-reactive protein or any other circulating inflammatory markers, and it only caused minimal improvement in insulin sensitivity. These results were consistent with prior randomized control trials that showed no improvements in either markers of inflammation or insulin sensitivity. Let's get to mTOR inhibition and autophagy activation. Let's see, what, what did they do for that? What were the results? You hear most, if not all, researchers on longevity experts state that fasting induces autophagy primarily caused by FOXO3 activation and mTOR inhibition. However, this particular study declared that their findings showed the opposite happens. Interesting. The researchers demonstrated that excessive weight loss to intermittent fasting increased mTOR and reduced autophagy activation. So what exactly is my take on this study? Let me give you my opinion on this. This study experimented on the 5-2, 5 days, 5-2 intermittent fasting method. Eat what you want for 5 days and limit calories for the other two. The problem with this strategy is the eat what you want for 5 days part <clears throat> that I don't, I, I, I don't like. Okay. If you eat like a glutton for five days and eat unhealthy junk food at that, it will not matter what you do the, the other two days. Okay? It simply will not reverse the damage you cause your body with the all-out eating 
for the previous five days. If you do this week after week after week and on and on, the accumulated damage you inflict cellularly will not make you healthier, although you may be losing weight. It's two different things. This study showed that the participants lost weight, however, mTOR activation increased and autophagy decreased. Okay. What this means is that you must live a healthy lifestyle every day, not just for two days a week. That's the mistake most people make. In addition, it's not just about watching your diet. There's more to it than this, much more. You must exercise, get good sleep, don't smoke, drink, etc. You know, the healthy lifestyle and take some proven supplements. Intermittent fasting will work, but you must incorporate a healthy lifestyle with it. Also, it must be remembered that no one knows how long you must fast to activate autophagy in humans. Okay, or if, or if fasting actually activates autophagy at all. This is why there is an ongoing clinical trial to help determine this and to finally get an answer on this. If you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can see future videos about longevity and health span. Have a great day and see you soon in my next video.